Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Monday after Christmas weekend vacation. And we're replacing a steam boiler this morning. Let's go see what we got. All right. This is the best part of the job, by the way. Basement entrance. They had a massive flood here last week. On Thursday, homeowner accidentally opened the valve after they drained it and then left. <laughs> yep, and then left. So we'll be replacing this Burnham SIN6 today. Make it look nice and pretty. All right, uh, let's go. But before we get started, I'd really, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to show your support and it helps motivate me and my team to make more great and amazing content. And make sure you smash that thumbs up button. All right, now we're gonna manhandle this thing. Me and you, I'm just joking. Down these stairs, we're 26 and a half inches between frame and that door. And we're 24 and a half inches here. So we'll just fit. We're gonna throw another strap on the bottom. And then we're gonna bring it down there. All right. One of you guys on the top, one of yeah. you guys on the bottom. All right, we have to. We have to get over this hump. And then, pray. All right, we're gonna try to lift this up, set it here, set it here, set it here. We gotta do the hand truck too. One hand truck pulling here. Right. Okay, one more. Right. Okay, right there. Mike, got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, push. Okay. Okay, here comes first step. Almost. Right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna the strap. That strap is going to you have to angle up a little bit. Okay. Okay, a little more. Okay, first step. Okay. Ready for next step? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Ready for next? We did it. All right. Set the boiler down right there. Perfect. Good job. We did it. Okay, ready to go home? <laughs> All right. Now, I'm gonna start breaking this thing down. All right. Boiler's out of the way. Purposes. 
Here's a new one. Let's take a look at the chimney. Stainless steel lining. Perfect. Got some debris in there. We'll vacuum that out. All right, our boiler is in position. Our flue pipe goes straight in, six inch by the way. And starting off on the bottom left hand side of the boiler, the first nipple, that's two by four. And I got Blue Monster tape on it, as well as Pro Dope. And we're gonna use our rigid 24 on this, point this up, come up, and pick up our T for our Hartford loop. Just putting this together, and I don't realize my own strength. Look at that. I cracked the thing. I cracked it. Damn it. Wow. Look at that. You know why? Hold on. This one say China, and that one, that says USA. What does it say on here? FM. You are listed. You. I used Malibu. No, no. It's made in Vietnam. It's made in Vietnam. <laughs> so now I'm going to make one of the subtitles, you know, for closed captioning in Vietnamese. <laughs> Watch and see if it shatters. Nope. <laughs> All right. So here is an inch and a quarter nipple, union, and then uh, 90. I'm taking a measurement from my return. And I need, it's going to be nine inches. Nine inches. All right. I have the line voltage coming in just the way the other one did. I got two Wagos there. Daniel's cutting the piece there. We're going to take the lower to cut off probe with just the pro dope on it. No PTFE tape. Read the manual, ladies and gentlemen. Do not use any Teflon tape on the lower to cut off probe. And then when I tighten this up, I'm going to make sure that my orientation matches up so the lights point that away. Just like that. So I got to have top left and bottom right with those screws. All right, let's tighten this. You went and got yourself a donut. Or well, you didn't think of others. What did you say, Mike? It was called One Way? So, you know they named streets after people like you. Do you guys want one? They're called One Way. No, but you could have asked. I asked. <laughs> now you asked. After you went and got a donut. No, you asked, would, you, would I mind if you go have a donut? So why would I mind? I told you there's coffee and donuts upstairs that our wonderful homeowner decided to get for us. Well, do you guys want coffee? No, I'm good. Oh, is it iced coffee? No, it's a box. It's a box. It's a box of Joe? Ice out of the freezer. From, from, eh, I don't trust the ice here. Never trust anyone's ice. Why? You ever, you ever see old ice? It's frozen. No, but it has a smell to it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It has that smell. And I'm an ice snob. I love ice. I love ice, too. I love wet ice. Wet ice is the best. With the round ice? Yeah, gourmet barrel ice. That's the best. All right, we got to connect this. You don't know what wet ice is? It's ice is constantly being made. It's wet. I have how many, how many ice machines do I have? Like three or four? <laughs> I have a lot of ice. One in the cabin, one in the garage. Yeah, one in the cabin, one in the garage, one in the dining room, one in the master bedroom. But that's not a wet ice machine. That's just a regular like beverage center. It has a freezer compartment in it. With, don't ask makes, about that one. Don't ask about that one. That's you know, who has a beverage center in their master bedroom with a wet bar? Raise my hands. That's me. <laughs> All the time. All the time. It's the best. All right. Daniel is having ice. Let me show you what we're doing over here. We are going to be a little adventurous today. We are utilizing both tappings of the top of the boiler. Now, the up until the IN6, including the IN6, this is optional using the second tapping on top of the boiler. I decided that we're going to be a little adventurous and we're going to try to make it work. Well, we're definitely going to make it work. And we're utilizing both tappings on top of the boiler. We're gonna put an elbow here. 
We're gonna come across, we're gonna pick up that steam main, and then another T and pick up this steam main, and then carry across to my Hartford loop. I was gonna make a drop header and go down, but I was like, you know what? Uh uh. This is, uh, it's the New Year, it's the week between Christmas and New Year's, and we're not gonna give be that giving. You got that, Mike? Yeah, there you go. You're gonna have to come out towards. Okay. Are these both the same nipples? Yeah. Okay. Right there. It's, something's a little yeah, off there. Kill these a little more. Damn, yeah, you have to go around again. Are these fittings made in Vietnam? Yeah, what does that yeah, say? Yeah. Shit, be careful. <laughs> it's Vietnam. The Vietnamese, you know, they screwed us during the Vietnam War. Well, let me not get political, but to all you uh, veterans out there, thank you for your service. All right, working on wiring while I'm also working on water feed. Since we're using both tappings up there, I'm gonna use my Surge X now. All right, so I'm gonna dump that in there. Perfect. All right, helps give us some better steam water. Prevent surging, I always, use Surge X on every single boiler that I install. Why? Because if I clean the oils off all my, all the nipples and pipe that I cut, I don't have to skim, plain and simple. Okay, it is 10.39, Monday, December 27th. And we are finishing up the wiring. Well, we're gonna start the wiring right now. There's my junction box that's supplied with the steam trim. Here's my pressure troll. I modified the settings, as you can see. Low water cutoff, side glass, and we're gonna do connect the water once we set up our equalizer there. We'll discuss the, the near boiler piping in a little bit, but first, a moment from our sponsor. Gigi, tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Okay, so now that Gigi said what you had to say, you know, if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and to really, really show your support. It costs nothing, there's no cost obligation. Smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get post notifications. All right, now that all the technical and marketing stuff is out of the way, let's show you what we're gonna do. First things first, in case you're new to this channel, you're gonna see that these little weird looking things right there, right? These are called the Wago 221 lever connectors, and this is for two conductors. Two conductors mean two wires. You can't shove in more than one wire in each connector, so if you need to have three wires, you'll use a three-wire uh, lever connector, all right? These are far superior to wire nuts. If you don't believe me, YouTube videos on melted wire nuts. You can also YouTube videos on, on knockoff Wagos. These things support tons and tons of amperage. I've seen them, these melt at around 150 amps. You don't believe me? YouTube it. That's what Google's there for. Got a lot of alphabet. Now, all this wiring is very intimidating. To most, is it intimidating to you? Uh, I don't know exactly how to wire it, but it's not. Well, guess what? Today, now you're gonna learn for the first time, right. right? And it's very easy. In the box, right, for the steam trim, there's a wiring diagram. Actually, they gave you two wiring diagrams. There's one in the manual and there's one here as well. And as long as we follow the colors, we are good to go, right? So let's start with, I already connected that yellow wire, as you can see right there, that's ground. And there's also another wire in here, the green wire, right? Out of the steam trim box. And that's also a ground. So we're going to shove that in there as well with the drill in the 5 16 bit. If you want, maybe we can reuse that one that's right up there, right? And secure that green wire to that 5 16 sheet metal screw up on the top and that way we have two grounds. Two is better than one. And as always, make sure you lick it before you stick it. I wonder if they make some kind of grease to put on the tips of screws before. It, well, I know they make electrical grease, because I have it. I have never used it. It's still sitting on my desk in, my, in the office, but. And you're gonna wanna hold back on that. Good, when you tighten it up. Perfect, now give it a nice little tug. Very nice. Okay, now let's get the transformer out of the way. Now, here's your transformer. 
Now, what's great about using these Wagos is that they will support weight. Right? Normally, before I discovered Wagos, thanks to one of the subscribers on the channel, I would have to connect with wire nuts and then I use like a zip tie here to hold the wires back because I just let this thing hang. Now, if you read the manual, in Canada, they actually give you a little string that holds this up and it connects, it connects to the box. It actually says Canada. Canada only, there's a little string. Now, black goes to L1 right there with our lever connector. So hook that up. Let me get some supplemental light here. Okay, and then the white goes there. Perfect, and make sure that since it's a, bra a stranded wire, make sure we have no strays, right? Well, like, no stray cats. Oh, you mean like... Totally yeah, because if anything is strayed out, it could potentially be a short, okay? Now, let's pick a color and go from there. Yellow. You wanna do so yellows first? Yellows. That's a big way Yeah, let's get him a five conductor Wago. Right there. And how many yellows we have? One yellow. Well, look, look on the thing, on the chart. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, five. six. Ooh, six, huh? So low water cutoff, two vent damper, to the transformer. And oh, one look, of the green, to ground. the green, it says, look, I made a mistake. See that? Green, Canada only. We can get rid of that green. Okay. So then that's only five. Yeah. You know, I've always hooked that up, but I didn't look... I wasn't a good technician aware of his surroundings. I always thought that I need to use that. So the green is a moot point. Okay. Look at that. That's the five conductor Wago lever 221. Okay. Two, two done. Three to go. See, it's like a mess of wiring there, kind of like zone valve wiring, but you know, when you use those Wagos, you don't have to worry about, you know, having a, uh, a wire not fall off. And then when you go to start it up, you're like, what the F, you know? Okay, that's three. Any others? Yes. I see one is pinned up back there. One is ground. So the ground, that one, do we have? I don't see. This yellow one that's on the screw. Okay. On here. Yeah, that one just goes to. Hold on. Yellow, 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 yellow. Hmm. Yellow. Yellow. Two boiler vestibule. Which is that's the yellow that's screwed in, or no? Nope. No. The yellow that's screwed in is two boiler vestibule. There's a yellow and red. So that yellow needs to come onto here. Yeah, but they give you a spade connector there. I mean, I, uh, yeah, they give you a connector on it. No, it's not going to be there. Everything we need is right here. So from Bola Vestibule, we have a red and a yellow. The yellow's going there. Interesting. So let's take off that yellow. Cut off fourth terminal on yellow wire and straight. Oh, look at that. All right. See, Daniel, look, you're learning. A good technician is observing his surroundings. So let's just pull that wire out, cut the end off. go. Hopefully we have enough play there. We should from the boiler vestibule. Daniel's tightened the screw back up. Very nice. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Okay. You have enough play on there? Can you pull it? Uh, I can't pull it, but I can put that one in. What do you have in here? What's blocking it? Zip ties. Oh, no, we have some room there. 
Let's, uh, what's, what's stuck there? Oh. Yeah, let's get rid of that little thing. Oh, well, let's loosen it up. Actually, you know what? If you cut this right there, you may just be able to make it. Yep. Good. All right, so now we'll take that yellow wire from boiler vestibule and hook it up to our Wago connector. The Wago's got some weight to it because it's being pulled down by the transformer, but we are good. Okay, excellent. So now all of our yellows are done, right? Yeah, don't worry, you can just hang out there. See this red one? Connect that there, there real quick. Get that out of the way. And it only goes in one way. Nice and firm and deep, deep inside. Okay, pick a color. What do you want to do next? A lot of them are just two, two uh, conductors blue. now. Oil. Want to do blue? Man, yeah. it's going right for the, <laughs> right blues for it. Five. Let's do the blues now. And what else does blue get? Does blue get thermostat? Yep, blue gets thermostat. Let's see thermostat. Right there, top right. Oh, two thermostat, yeah. So all the blues plus one thermostat wire. And if you really want to be picky about this thing, right? The blue is 24 volts. So if we, if we had, you know, a sensitive thermostat where, you know, R or that needs to be 24 volts, we want to make sure that it goes on the blue connector because that's 24 volts. Because as you know, the other one, yellow, is ground or common. Anything else? Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. Um, this pie. Pink. Pink, gray, orange. And then brown. So we'll take some two conductor Wagos. Quickly refilling. Can we turn this stupid thing over blowing on me? That's annoying, it's cold. Nice. from thermostat relay, which goes to common off thermostat, or, no, it's not common, W off thermostat. And is there anything left? Gray. Gray, there you go, we have a gray there, and another gray there. Okay. The green, the green we can remove. So if you want that little 516 screw, loosen that up. Pull the green out. Good. Sayonara. Adios. Adios. Now, we carefully, oh yeah, make sure that little black thing is secure. It helps prevent any shorts. 
So we're very carefully gonna place all that wiring into that junction box. And have no fear, Wago is here. Lego my Wago. <laughs> I'll put a link down in the description box down below. I get my Wagos not from an electrical supply house. I get them from Amazon. The 100 of the two conductor Wagos is roughly 25 bucks. So they're not cheap, but they are, you know, revolutionary. They're a game changer. And in Europe, this is what they use. And technically speaking, you're not supposed to reuse a traditional wire nut. Technically speaking. All right, so you'll you'll get that in there. So you'll loosen that up, slide that in, and then throw another screw on the other side. Easy peasy. So how do you think you did? Good. And if you just want to test, the thermostat's calling. See, thermostat relay energized. We have 24 volts. And. I just put this here so if I ever need to troubleshoot and eliminate thermostat, thermostat wiring from the equation, I could jump out right there. Do that on all my boilers. So, what were you going to say? I stopped using the Weha screwdriver. Why? Because the Phillips tip doesn't fit the Phillips screws as well as the Klein one does. Yeah. That is true. Maybe, just maybe, the Phillips screws in Europe are different than here in the United States. Maybe it has something to do with like the imperial and the metric system. What do you think about that? I don't think so. You don't think so? What do you think? Did maybe they just have smaller screws there? Straight tap versus taper now. What is it? Straight tap versus taper tap. Huh. Interesting. Straight tap. No. Same thickness from top to bottom. Alright. Then for the taper. Just move this. So that there. Makes sense. If these are tapered, then this wouldn't work as well. So let's see what we have here. Here's our first main connecting there. We're struggling. No, we're not. <laughs> Making it tight. It's all good. It's a little bit before 11. We have two connections to make. Actually, three. One. Actually, we could probably work on this now, can't we? Yes, I can. All right, let's get a two inch union. And let's make this connection. All right. It's good. We just have to connect the second other main to there. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Right. And connect our water, which is already pre-made. Daniel's working on the relief. He'll put a drip leg on that, point it towards the back. All right. You on a bucket there. Yeah. Uh, right. Question. Yes. Can I go from black? Copper, or should I just do straight copper? I would just do straight copper if you're gonna go that way. You can do that away. if you're gonna do that already. If we, we have a brass uh, three-quarter male adapter. Brass three-quarter male adapter. No, brass three-quarter male adapter. That's a half inch. If we have a brass three-quarter male adapter, then use that off the black. Right, and then it goes to the floor. A few inches off the floor. Fish? Okay. And you, I can still use black. Yes, you can black. use black, but because it's brass. All right, you can't do copper right directly into black. Dielectric. It'll eat itself up. Skin port is tapped, is uh, closed up. There's my drain. All we have left now is here and there. Oh, we gotta secure this chimney. I thought you were doing that before, Peter Pan. Let's get the, the drill with some 516 screws. Three screws per joint. All right, while we're finishing up the last two inch steam main, I just wanna show you something because a good technician is observant of his surroundings. And I'm not perfect. Sometimes I don't see things and you guys catch it. And that's a good thing, right? Because we need to learn from one another. But let me show you something. You see that? See this? It's a water softening system, right? She wants soft water. The ladies love soft water because if they have soft water, they don't need to put conditioner in their hair. However, if you look on page 17 of the manual, do not use softened water in steam boilers. 
accelerated boiler, cor boiler corrosion will result. Do not use soap and water. Accelerated boiler corrosion will result. Tie in fresh water supply to the boiler upstream of water softener. Upstream. What? Tie in fresh water supply to the boiler upstream of the water softener. So, I need to cut in this one inch after the meter, before the filter, I need to cut in a T here, and we're gonna bring, and I'm not gonna do it today, but we're gonna bring a half inch PEX line all the way to here. And we'll probably do that tomorrow, or Wednesday. Sorry. For now, I don't have the material in the truck to make that because I didn't, I knew they had a water filter, I didn't know they had a softener, but page 17, ladies and gentlemen, do not use softened water. Relief valve, 15 PSI. Daniel and Peter are working on the relief valve off of the backflow preventer. And I just wanted to take a peek at this boiler. It was installed on 12-11-95. 12-11-95. Daniel, what year were you born? 99. <laughs> this boiler is older than you. 95, 12-11-95 was installed. And let's take a peek in the back door. Wow. Wow. That's a crusty one. Oh, let me not infringe on his copyright. <laughs> it's a crusty one, mama. Who says that? Oh. Yeah. It's a crusty one. Everything he works on is crusty. Everything, <laughs> yeah, all right. I guess because you're up north in New England, you know, you have a accelerated wear and tear all the salt in the air. Is New Bedford near near the sea? I have no idea. I'm clueless Long too. Island is near the sea. I know, but come on, we're this is New York. We're Giants fans, not Patriots fans, right? I know. By the way, this expansion tank is literally like has been. Yeah, don't, don't mess with it. All right, so you. He's learning. This was fine. It's hard to cut the. They yeah. little bird things. Yeah, see, it's like that. See, nice, nice. Where's that elbow? Uh, Peter, can you grab the bucket of steam from the truck? I want to purge the boiler. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that one already, huh? Danny told me you were going to try that. <laughs> we can always get the pipe stretcher. You know what that is? I know. He, he, he thinks there's a pipe stretcher. He thinks there's a pipe, pipe stretcher? Pipe expander. Pex expander. Well, there, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Well, and a swedging tool. Swedging tool, yeah. But there, the bucket of steam, it's behind, it's behind the driver's side seat uh, above the first aid kit. <laughs> Sippy Cup did fall for that. Yep, he did. Did he ever find it? And also, before Sippy Cup, years ago, we had. I gotta show you how to use that thing. Let me show you how to use it. It's hard on the half. Let me show you. Very easy. No, no, let me show you. There's a, there's a, there's a method to it, right? Now, first. Okay. Now, this one's a little f broken, but now listen to it. We're gonna. See? It wants to come back, so right there. And then you flip the lever and cut. What? It would have been great if it messed up. Right? No, but see, look, just it goes in there and it wants to back out. So you don't want to go, you don't want to hold this. You just want to let it naturally sit there, then flip the lever and then cut. I just ordered one there. You did? Very nice. Very nice. Try not to get it wet. We'll try to, if you have more than one, one is for wet pipe, one is for brand new pipe. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna use the Milwaukee M18 Force Logic Pro Press Machine to press in. Embrace the technologies, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't embrace the technology, it's going to run right past you. Well, you can always uh, spin that, though. But yeah. If you don't embrace the technology, 
You think you're gonna get run over by it? It, it was like my first couple of weeks working yeah. for the Pipe Doctor, and I was with Mike G. Uh, we were doing, I forget, but he had me press a bunch of fittings, and it was just completely not straight anywhere. <laughs> so now it's what I think about. Well, let's see it. You you learn from example. Where did he go? He left. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he go? I don't know. Peter Pan. Got to fly off somewhere. All right. Now, let's see how this looks. Look at that. Nice and pretty. So, I don't have a WFE 24 in the truck. I thought I did. So, I'll, regardless, this job was was signed and sold on on a Thursday. December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was a Friday this year, so all the supply houses were closed. I happened to find, that's fine, it's a little bit of play, just let it naturally, you know, sway down. We got this from AF Supply. This is the Burnham SIN6. It was manufactured in February of 2021. All right, we have a max input of 175, 144 gross. The and for future for reference, the water capacity for this boiler in a steam in this in the steam environment is 9.4 gallons of water. This boiler holds 9.4 gallons of water as a steam boiler. Crazy, right? Yeah. If you look at the IN4, it's like you could drain it with a five-gallon bucket and have some room left over. But not the six. But I really like how we did this. We use both tappings. We did not have to use the secondary one there. You have to use that on the IN7 or above, but I figured, you know what? It's a much nicer job and it helps it be more efficient. I was going to make this a drop header, but yeah, we had enough fittings, but I'm not gonna lie to you and say we didn't have enough fittings for it, but this is what I had available. Thir what? Grab the manual, I'll show you. Put it right on top of the boiler. Let's flip to the page of steam. There we go. Now, if you look right here, hold that. So this is the manufactured advised installation, all right? We have two risers, and now you can see this, there's a little note here. It says, I don't know, something in there, right? But one, you, don't, you don't have to use both of them for a under a seven. Okay. So we come up, elbow cross, come up, elbow cross, elbow, T, and then we pick up our steam header. We don't put one in the middle here. You're not supposed to, at least. We want to do it after, right? So all the steam from the boiler is going straight directly to those two mains. Alternatively, alternative pipe method, right? This is called a drop header. We come up, and again, it's a minimum 24 inches from here to here, and then we drop down. So this would be pointed down and then elbow across. This would also be an, an elbow dropping down with a T picking that up. And the benefit to that is you'll help the more, there's more surface area, I believe there's more surface area that's, that, that, and turns that the steam is making, which helps it to become more drier. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen. This is, a, this is an educational channel, you know, so we can learn from one another. If I'm saying it wrong, I, I don't think I am, but, you know, let me, correct me. Correct me down in the comments section, but I believe if you, with a drop header, you have more drier steam, and you want drier steam, you don't want wet steam. Capiche? Okay. Now a moment, a word from our sponsor. GG, do you think they smashed that thumbs up button? I don't think they did. What are you waiting for? So please listen to GG the Mini Golden Doodle and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's no cost or obligation to join the channel. And I guarantee you when we have 50,000 subscribers, there's gonna be the most epic party pool party in a warm and tropical locale where, trust me, you will not be disappointed. And the folks at Bosch will probably be present as well. So make sure we keep it rated PG. Okay. Now we have the gas cock on. Mike is finishing up the last one, but Daniel son, do the honors. Flip on that switch. Governor Golbachev, tear down this wall. And it's like that. The low water cutoff. It has no lights there. Our damper is 
opening, as you can see. I'm putting Mike under pressure. Don't worry, it's gonna be a long time before it fire, before it uh, makes steam to, to that point. Now, we have our Honeywell electronic ignition module, the heartbeat, and make sure our gas is to on. Now, we didn't purge this out at all, so we may have to power cycle it. And we're also gonna spray down with soapy water, make sure there's no leaks, because everyone knows, right, Daniel? Soapy water shows leaks. I don't know what those... Oh, I think we have the pilot. Yeah, and we have ignition. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It is, uh, we're cheating now. <laughs> but it is a 11.34. And Houston, we have ignition. Should probably bend this down a little bit. We had, that was hard. Getting the uh, CO levels are gonna be at the box. Out of the box, they should be almost near perfect. Out of the box, it should be near as perfect, All right? But we're gonna spray down our joints with soapy water, make sure there's no leaks, and then let this thing run for a little bit. And by the time that's connected, we'll be able to do a combustion test. See? Good job. All right, final connection on a two-inch union there. I gotta tell you, this really, 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 really came out pretty and beautiful. Really did and maximizing efficiency. Yes, granted, we should, maybe we could have done the alternative piping method and created a drop header, but let me tell you what it's not. It's not a hack job because hack jobs will just come up out of here with a T and pick up one there, pick up the other and there, and then go over there in like one inch and packs. <laughs> and I've seen packs. I've seen packs. Yes, I've seen packs. I've seen packs. I've seen a branch off a of steam main and they cut it, right? I, I swear to God, they, they cut the pipe. They use the dresser coupling, which allows you to use, like a, it's like a, 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 like a ferrule, nut and ferrule where you can tighten up to the pipe. And they ran PEX to a baseboard and, and a piece of bathroom, an illegal bathroom in the basement, and they ran it back up to the top. <laughs> and they did it over the summer and they haven't turned the steam on yet. <laughs> That was epic, by the way. I saw that in Cambria Heights, maybe about four or five years ago. Crazy. Before, listen, if I saw that today, oh my God, it would have went viral. The video would have went viral. I kid you not. <laughs> you see it. <coughs> you definitely see it. And that's why hacks bring stacks. This is already warming up right over this side. Wow, beautiful. All right, gentlemen. Let's just leave a few pipe wrenches left in case we have to tighten up anything. Give myself uh, an evil eye. So pull, pull, pull. Let me knock that evil eye away. We're not going to have any leaks. Oh, set it again, damn it. Nice, nice, beautiful, 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 beautiful. And we'll be back here in a couple days, throw in the automatic feeder, which they requested they wanted to have because that's what they wanted and give what the customer wants. Very nice. Daniel's using the Testo 320 combustion analyzer. You know what we need to do up Peter Pan? Because I'm gonna probably, re not retire this one, but we're probably gonna give it to uh, Daniel's son. We should take out, you know, the service tags and the stickers and put them in the Voler, the Voler, the Voler A450. Um, I have to do a little more uh, reading up on the Voler. I need to figure out, you know, how to do the draft analysis on it. And yeah, that's it. But yeah, I'm done with Testo. You know what? They've had plenty of opportunity to reach out to me, by the way. And I'm not to be a snob, but I've been shouting them out for years. Right? Shouting them out for years. You know, listen, the guys, the folks at Platsky, you know, the reps of Voler, they took care of me. You know, so. Oh, did they just give you that? Well, they didn't give it to me, but I got it basically at cost. 
So, can't complain. They should have given me one, but it is what it is. We got green stars instead. What do you need? Something smoking? That is the oils burning off. That is the oils burning off. Brand new boiler. It's hot already. Hot. Woo! 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 You know, if I had the thermal camera, it's, in my, it's at home my desk. We can use the thermal imaging camera. It's still cold. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. What do you guys think? Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comments section down below. What do you think about that? Beautiful near boiler piping. What would you have done differently? Tell me. In the in the description in the comments section down below. Is Burnham my favorite boiler? Um so let's see. Cast iron boiler. Okay. Ca for cast iron steam. I prefer the Burnham. For any oil to gas conversion, I prefer the Burnham. I'll tell you why in a minute. If, take rebates out of the equation, cast, you know, oil to gas conversion, for uh, atmospheric burning cast iron boiler, there's nothing like the Whale McLean CGA gold boilers. They're beautiful. Oh, I saw one of those. They're beautiful. I, unfortunately, they changed the color of the of the actual jacket, and it's no longer gold in color. And they still call it gold, but it has a built-in low water cutoff, which is nice. So for steam, listen, I like the Independence. I do. Independence. This is the Burnham Independence oh. uh, gas-fired steam boiler, and it comes in two configurations. You can do it for steam, the way we have it now, or hydronics. Now, why I, you would put a hydronic trim on this, I don't know. When you can get like the ES2. Uh, which is the 85% efficient boiler, or their Series 2. And they also have some new ones out, too, but I don't really follow Burnham that, that much, you know, on their website. I just put in what, you know, is needed. If we're doing an oil to gas conversion, I'm getting a Burnham because U.S. Boiler has a deal with National Grid. Make sense? So when I, put, when I buy the boiler, right, I register the Burnham boiler on the, uh, the portal, that you know plumbers go to when they register a boiler for Burnham and then they get a rebate in the mail which you can give to your customer or give them a discount or just put in your pocket you know oh you say you get this rebate yes so there's two rebates when you do a full oil to gas conversion the first rebate is i buy a Burnham boiler i go to like a website called conversionportal.net i forgot what it's called it's through national grid and through us boiler i think it's a us boiler website I enter the customer's information, the account number, and the model serial number of the boiler, and then like a month later, I get a check in the mail, right? On the, on the state website, state working with National Grid, there are rebates, so which the customer gets. But you, you can also designate to go to the contractor, but it's, 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 a, it's a selling tool to help, you know, install a U.S. boiler, boiler instead. Make sense? How did our combustion test go? It went well. It wasn't zero, but... Okay, we have eight particles per million of CO, 8.6% oxygen. Gross efficiency is a little uh, low there. It's also cold. It should be fine. Did you uh, draft test? No, I don't see draft on here. Daniel, son, did you do draft? I did not. Why did you do draft? I forgot. You forgot. Now you got to do draft. Might as well do both of them over again. You don't do half job, you do the full job. Quite impressive. Look at that. All before 12 o'clock. Let's get a pen. Today's date, 11 21 New install. Cool. Nice. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What do you think of this beauty? I'm quite impressed. I think it looks perfect. I don't think I missed anything. I think the team did an amazing job. Excellent. You need to have the right guys in your family to get things done. All right, it is 108. We're heading off to our next service call, which I'm not gonna make a double feature. This video is already long enough. I think it's like 45 minutes. But I have a message for Matt in Reading, Massachusetts. Matty Pipe sucks. <laughs> Now, Scott, pay up, pay up. 
Did that for you, Scott. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat a little entertaining, but most importantly, maybe you got some knowledge out of it. And like I said a couple times during the video of the installation, you know, which was literally done before noon, you know, if I did something wrong there, it's a mistake, but call me out. Call me out in the description box down below. Not the description box, the comment section. Duh. <laughs> Refer to the description box if you would like to get one of those great Let's Go Bosch t-shirts, stickers, or Pipe Doctor hats. And don't forget about subs not subscribing, but being a member of this channel. There are multiple levels of membership, and of course, membership has its privileges, just like the American Express card. Being a member of Mikey Pipe's Pipe Doctor channel has its privileges. And for as little as $2.99 a month, you too can have some privileges, such as sneak peeks, sneak peeks, that only get dropped to members before they get released to the general public. Uh, I am a lunatic and I know it, but it's all good. It's all good. The goal, one of the goals of the channel is to learn from one another. And we do that on a daily basis. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support from the community. This channel has grown tremendously in 2021. And I can't even imagine what 2022 is gonna bring. Hopefully it'll bring peace to the world. Hopefully it'll bring the end of this virus from China that we call COVID-19 with these variants. Hopefully everyone stays healthy and safe and we can all overcome this global pandemic. And don't forget, let's go Bosch. Be well, God bless, stay safe.